Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to boot into safe mode in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Okay guys, so uh, we're just using uh, Windows 8.1 uh, Pro Preview at the moment. And you can get this version from the 123MyIT website. Um, there's a serial code there as well. But basically what we want to try and do today is just uh, go, go over how to boot into safe mode. So you might be asked to boot into safe mode if you've got like a virus on your machine and you need to do some troubleshooting or you're just having general uh, problems with your, uh, your PC. You might be having problems with drivers or something like that and you need to go in and do some troubleshooting and you've been asked to go into safe mode. So in Windows 8 and 8.1 there's a few different ways that you can find uh, safe mode. The first way is to press your Windows key and then just start typing msconfig msconfig, so Microsoft config alright and then you just if you just press enter or tap your uh, msconfig icon that comes up here okay and then you go into boot and then under boot it's got safe boot here so if we tick that and select it as minimal there's also some other um, other options here that you can select. You can do a network uh, safe mode boot which allows you to um, connect to a network or log on to the machine and have network access. So if we just want to go apply and OK and then it will ask us to do a restart. So let's just do a restart now. OK and it's come back up now so we're just going to log back in. All right, and there's a Windows help and support that comes up here. We're just going to minimize that. That's just some information on might help you do some troubleshooting. Um, but however, you can see that we are now in safe mode. So you can see up the top here, down the sides. And it's a really sort of dumbed down basic version of the operating system, which allows you to troubleshoot some uh, problems that you might have. Uh, if you have a look down the bottom here, you can see there that there's no network connection. Okay, if you wanted to to boot into safe mode but, but have a network connection there. Uh, we just need to go through the same steps as before so we just hit your, you can either click on your Windows key here or tap on it if you're using a tablet and then you can just start typing msconfig okay you need to type it correctly config, there we go press on it okay so msconfig we go to boot and then remember before how I said there's this other option here called network. Let's say you wanted to boot in but you still wanted to have network access. Uh, so you know let's just say you're getting some information or help from a website. You um, uh, can't get access, you're using your only machine in safe mode and you want to get access to the internet. You select this boot mode, uh, safe boot, uh, safe boot option with network. And just click OK on that. Do a restart again. Okay, we log back in now. All right, and you can see now the help and support is now coming up with uh, some details on what to do. And if we wanted to web browse as well, there we go. You can see we can get through to the 123myit.com website. So that's the other way um, of doing it. There's also another way. Um, so if you wanted to, if you do a restart here now, it will just keep booting into safe mode. So if you wanted to turn safe mode off, we want to click on the Windows key, type in msconfig again, hit enter, All right. go back into boot and just take out the safe boot and then click OK and then do a restart. Okay, so there we have it now, it's been turned off, so we have no more safe mode and we're just back in, we've got all our network uh, activity going again. Okay, so there is another way that you can go into safe mode and I'll show you another way of doing it. Um, when you go into your charms menu on the side here and go to power and you want to do a restart, just before you hit restart or click on restart, hold down your shift key on your keyboard and then press restart and just hold it, keep holding down the shift key. So you want to press and hold it down 
and then you'll get this option here, choose an option, you can continue, so you can boot back into Windows 8.1 or Windows 8. Um, you can troubleshoot, which is what we want to do, or you can turn off your PC. So we're going to go into troubleshoot. Okay. Now there's some other options here, I'll let you have a look at those, refresh your PC, reset your PC, but we want to go into advanced options, because we want to find the safe mode, and we're going to go into this here, startup settings, and we're going to click on that one. All right. Now it says, restart to change Windows options such as uh, enable low resolution video mode, enable debugging mode, enable boot logging, enable safe mode, disable driver signature enforcement, disable early launch anti-malware protection, and disable automatic restart on system failure. Okay, so let's just restart there now. All right. And now we've got our options of how we want the system to start. So the first one here is uh, enable debugging. Next one is enable boot logging. Uh, next one is enable low resolution video, enable safe mode, enable safe mode with networking. Uh, that's the same option that I just showed you previously. Uh, enable safe mode with command prompt, disable driver signature enforcement, disable early launch anti-malware protection, disable automatic restart after failure. Okay, so the one we want to do now is safe mode, so we're going to press 4. And log back in. Okay. And there you have it, so you can see there we're back in safe mode. Now the difference between doing it via this way and, and doing it within the, the MS config is now if I do a restart, it's actually going to not boot into safe mode after I do a restart. If you do it the other way, you actually have to go in and set it in MS config not to start in safe mode. So that's that's the difference between this one. So if you see this one now, when we when I do a restart, it actually won't come back up in safe mode or it'll come back, back up in normal mode. Okay, so log back in, and now we shouldn't be in the safe mode any longer. Okay, so that's back to normal. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. So that's, that's a few ways that you can uh, get into safe mode in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, please don't forget to uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.